So we just got a huge, 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 huge W for foldable phones in 2024. And that is Samsung is going to be cutting costs of their foldable displays by switching its bezels creation method moving forward. So shout out to AndroidCentral.com for posting this. But here is pretty much the whole rundown. Samsung may cut the cost of its foldable displays by switching its bezels creation method moving forward. We already know that the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Flip 6 will have a different aspect ratio for their outside displays. So, of course, this helps out a drastic. Um, well, outside display for... Yeah, actually, no, outside display for both ones. The company is rumored to distance itself from... Sig Young High Tech MDD process for an inkjet printing process. This should bring down the price tags of how much it costs to make and manufacture these flippable affordable phones. Rumors have previously stated the Z Flip 6 and Fold 6 are in line for display changes as well as speculation that Samsung is working on a cheaper book style foldable. And this has been the age old that they're going to create a mid-range foldable flippable phone kind of like a galaxy l a z fold 5 fe which will be a fan edition or a z flip 5 fe z flip 5 fan edition so there's always those rumors and samsung has came out themselves and said that that's simply not going to happen um they're not going to create a mid-range phone They've been very upfront and honest about it, but people are still are thinking that it's going to happen. Um, as it says in the article right here, according to the L LEC Korean, Samsung may lean on a inkjet printer method to create the bezels of its next foldable wave via 9to5 Google. The inkjet method is said to have everything required to produce the bezels in the film already. Meanwhile, the report suggests Samsung's consistent asking of its display division to reduce the cost of its hardware may have contributed to this change. So they're trying to make it, again, less money to create. That does not mean it's going to be cheaper. And I want to stress this enough, guys. Just because the fact that it is cheaper to create and manufacture... Not always, and I'm not saying Samsung is going to do this or not going to do this, but a lot of times, even when companies can manufacture something for cheaper and create something for cheaper, it doesn't always transition a one-for-one -one to the consumer. So just because they're cutting costs doesn't mean they're going to cut their margins or cut their profits. Because think of it like this, as a company point of view, not as a consumer, they can make it cost less to make it, sell it for the same price, and just make more money profit-wise. If they sell it for a discounted price, and they make it for a discounted price, then they're literally just in the same boat they were in before. They're not making any more money. They're in the same exact area as they were before. So I would not be surprised if they really don't translate this, you know, less money it's going to cost them down to the consumer. They might a little bit, but it's definitely not going to be as much as they're saving themselves. Because again, they want to keep their margins high. They want to keep the profits high. It's just how it works. At the end of the day, they are a company. They're going to do whatever makes them the most money, right? Um, so those close to the subject add the rumored inkjet printer process can create more film to be used as the display bezels compared to the OEM's previous way. So again, like I said, they're trying to cut costs. They're trying to make the most money possible. And this is really what Samsung, the only thing Samsung has left. If you looked at their uh, profit margins as a company, uh, they have been negative over the last couple years. But their phone division has always been positive. It's been what has kept them going, right? So you're going to see... They're going to try to cut costs as much as possible. And I hope we're not getting a worse product in the end here from Samsung because of them trying to cut costs. Because if they don't give us a discount and they charge the same, much, the same amount of money, which I expect them to charge us the same amount of money, then we're really just getting a worse product for the same price. So hopefully Samsung gets this figured out and also there isn't any setbacks or problems or 
issues with this for the consumer. Because last thing we need for the foldable phone industry is Samsung now, the company that has been the most polished product maker, to create a product that isn't polished at all. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.